I knew it. I knew it. I knew that the Sega Genesis was the cause for the downfall of all mankind. Do you guys yourself a favor. Get rid of your Sega Genesis now! Oh, you already did? Like, 20 years ago? Oh, then I think we're safe. Yay! Oh, kids. It's time for your what up, big kids? Here's your big review of Terminator Genesis with an I. Anyway, um, this will be a non-spoiler review, even though the freaking trailers have spoiled more things than I will spoil in this review. Uh, this movie is the fifth Terminator movie, and it is an interesting one. Um, this movie uh, is directed by Alan Taylor, from uh, known for directing Game of Thrones and uh, Thor The Dark World. And of course it's the return of Ani. Arnold Schwarzenegger returns as the T-800. And we got a lot of characters from the Terminator franchise that return, but um, are played by different actors. Arnold is the only returning actor from the original Terminator films. Now, I absolutely love Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment Day. I think Terminator 2 Judgment Day is one of my favorite movies of all time. Seriously, that movie uh, is just one of the most amazing action films. The CGI still holds up to this day. Um, and freaking cry at the end of that movie, man. I swear, I understand why you cry, but something I could never do. Now, this movie though, um, I have to say going into this, I knew this wouldn't be as good as Terminator 2 or even the Terminator, uh, which is still like right below Terminator 2 for me. Um, but I have to say it's probably better than Terminator 3 and definitely Terminator Salvation. Salvation, I liked where they were going with it, but they didn't go to the full potential. I feel like this movie had a lot better action scenes in that movie than, than Salvation. And um, yeah, there, this movie though, okay. This movie is a little all over the place. It's a little convoluted at times because, for one thing, as you as you can tell from the trailers, um, there's the uh, the whole Terminator timeline has been rewritten. I mean, Sarah Connor is now how she is in Terminator 2, but back in 1984, uh, and she's played by um, uh, Daenerys uh, Targaryen or, or uh, <laughs> by uh, Amelia Clark. Uh, I love Amelia Clark as. Um, uh, Daenerys in Game of Thrones, but um, I like her as Sarah Connor. I think she's probably better than Lena Headley, who also played Sarah Connor, who's also in Game of Thrones. But um, I, I feel like she looked a little too young. She definitely is tough, you know, she's very tough in Game of Thrones, and I do like her. She's very beautiful, very badass woman. So I, I think she did her best Lena Hamilton <laughs> uh, imitation because literally Linda Hamilton will always be Sarah Connor to me but I think of my second favorite Sarah Connor I think she's the best uh, more than uh, yeah and then um, uh, Jake or Jai Courtney um, I still like Michael Bean better as uh, Kyle Reese um, I think he gets a bad rap I don't think he's as horrible uh, as people say he is, but yeah, he's a little bit wooden. Um, I figured out who I was watching. I think like um, Jeremy John said he could play the Terminator. I think yeah, I could see that. Um, but yeah, I thought he was okay. Like I didn't think he was terrible as Calvary. I think him and John Connor's scenes in the beginning were probably some of my favorite. And but yeah, the whole thing with him and Sarah Connor, like will they, won't they? I felt like uh, Michael Bean will always be Calvary to me. So yeah. Um, now let's get to uh, uh, Jason Clark, who um, surprisingly not related to Amelia Clark. Um, he as Sean Connor. Now I won't really spoil anything for people who haven't seen the trailers. Uh, his Sean Connor is very interesting, very different from what we've seen from other John Connors, and I can understand. I I feel like. With five movies now, they've done everything they can with John Connor, like with, whether it was Christian Bale or you know, like uh, in Terminator Three and Two. It's just, it, it, it's just like where can you go? I guess I understand why. Um, but yeah, um, Brian Lean Hung, who plays the T One Thousand, is oh my god, there was not enough of him. He's such a badass. Uh, he is such a great uh, for Robert Patrick. Uh, such a great replacement for him. Even though, yeah, he's an Asian uh, T-1000, so what? He's badass and he's so perfect. He's like like the Storm 1000 or uh, would it be the Thieves um, Shadow? Whatever. He's pretty badass. Uh, so I like him. And um, J.K. Simmons, his role in this um, 
was kind of wasted. He's such a great actor and I love him, but I feel like he could have been better utilized. They could have taken his scenes out of it. It was a cool way to connect the plot from 19... Yeah, and yeah, that's a, let me get to the plot in a second here, but um, I'll just say that Arnold, uh, it's like him as the T-800, it, it feels like wearing a pair of old shoes. It, it just, even though it's a little worn, it's still comfortable. And uh, yeah, he is so great. Uh, this is one of his breakout roles. And even though he's older, and they definitely make a lot of jokes of him being old, but not obsolete. Um, he is so great, and he's definitely the anchor of this movie. I mean, literally, if you're going to watch any Terminator movie, and that's what a Salvation suffered from, unless you count the CGI Arnold, um, you definitely want to go and watch a Terminator movie for Arnold. Even, like, that's what Terminator 3 was great about, with having Arnold in there. Um, yeah, so the plot, like I said, it's very convoluted. I feel like this movie could have easily been two, even three movies. I feel like they should have focus more in 1984 just kind of like retold the whole you know original Terminator movie with a whole different thing but then and they're trying to set up a new trilogy from what I heard and like I said this review is late I've been so busy with 4th of July and putting Hot Toys review so I apologize for this review being late but I know it was number three behind like you know Jurassic World and Inside Out so that's not a good sign either so I don't know if this movie you know Warner Brothers had the rights and now uh, it's paramount I, so it's like I don't know if we'll get the trilogy and the way this movie I won't spoil anything but the way this movie ends it definitely sets it up for a sequel but at the same time if it never happens uh, it could totally be you know a standalone movie it's like a very happy ending in a way minus like this mid credit scene which I won't give away but yeah it's it was interesting. Um, I said there's some good action scenes, not probably on par with like Terminator 2 or even Terminator 1, but um, I really like the beginning action scenes. There was some great stuff with the T-1000. I feel like the beginning action was a lot more, uh, and then like the end battle, uh, I think the middle action was okay, but the beginning and very end action scenes were probably the best. And um, I said the cast was alright, Arnold was the best, as well as like, you know, um, Storm Shadow as the D1000, but um, yeah, it's it's like I said, I don't think it. I some people might think that it craps all over the first Terminator films, in a way it kind of dilutes those films, but it can never do that because those movies will always be amazing no matter what this movie and even Terminator Three kind of did that anyway. Terminator Three was trying to undo what Terminator One and Two did anyway, so whatever. Um, they it's been there done that. I I feel like. If they do make a sequel, try to do something a little bit different and try not to throw everything at us. Like, there's definitely a lot of plot holes in this movie, a lot of things they could have explained better. So, with that said, I give Terminator Genesis a 3.5 out of 5. I don't think it's the worst Terminator film. I think maybe it's Salvation and, or even Terminator 3. But, um, yeah, but it's definitely not the best. I think it's my third favorite Terminator film now, so that that, that says something about it. But yeah, Terminator uh, 2 and Terminator 1 are still the best. So yeah, check out Rip the Puff for cool shirts like Mad Max, which is definitely a better movie, uh, of Fury Road. And check out more on my website, SeanLongSong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long, Mary Live Long, and Love Life. I told you I'm not too old to be back. These movies are getting old. I think it's time to retire. No, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm Batman saying, if you want justice for America, then spend your Independence Day playing Batman Arkham Knight. How could you say that? You don't know what's best for America. They should be going out watching fireworks, having picnics.